Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Michael. And we're getting married. We wanted to share a video with you on how our relationship evolved and how Michael proposed. How did how do I think we met? Oh, when the first my first recollection of you would be uh, is either eleventh or twelfth grade. We're after school. Me and Drew after school. Andrew is one of my best friends. Y'all probably know that already. We're after school, and we're just wandering the halls because that's what you do after school. And um, we saw Christina in her locker. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing in her locker. Andrew has a... Has, End of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andrew already has a previous relationship with Christina, which we won't get into. Right. right now. <laughs> And so we sit and we have a conversation with her. She's she's sitting on the floor. She's um, was I, I sitting on the floor? I don't know. I just remember I just remember us coming to talk to you. At this point, you're already the class president mm -hmm. of senior year, and um, I remember going to look in your agenda, and um, <laughs> I realized that your mom was writing quotes in your agenda and I thought that was the weirdest thing. They were words of encouragement. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the one the one the one that I remember which is weird is probably I don't know if it was the day of I just went to a random one and it said one monkey doesn't stop the show. <laughs> and I was just like I didn't think people really did that. Like I didn't like so it was kinda We're corny, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um from that point on, me and Drew established ourselves as Christina's secret servants. Right. Because she was the president. I know that's kind of corny, but... Secret service. 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 I'm sorry. So, from that point on, we would follow, we followed Christina around. Absolutely. And in our mind, made sure nobody came anywhere near her. Yeah. They really were, like, <laughs> walking in front of me <laughs> everywhere I went. To make sure nobody will get too close. We and may or may not have pushed a few <laughs> underclassmen out of the way, but that's neither here nor there. They didn't want anybody to come and talk to me, pretty much. That's what it was. Yeah. But, um, no, okay, so my, my version is completely different. Um, I knew of Michael way before then. Um, and he knew of me. I don't know why he tries to act like he doesn't. But um, our fathers worked together. So I remember it was in middle school, it had to be eighth grade because we were doing orientation for our transition into high school. And Michael and his parents were there and I was there with my parents and our dad saw each other and they were like, oh, do you know each other? Whatever, whatever. And I was just like, oh yeah, I've seen him around before. And it was like, they introduced us and everything. Michael doesn't remember any of this, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> so I knew of him then, but of course, once we transitioned to high school, I don't remember really seeing you we, around much like okay. that. But to, to, <laughs> to expound on that, I, I have I, I had seen Christina before. Oh my gosh, no! Those <laughs> but I didn't know her. I knew you. No, I didn't know you, but because, like you said, our fathers work together. Mm -hmm. And occasionally their job would do these trips to Six oh, Flags. Yeah, yeah. So they would essentially buy out the pavilion and buy, buy out, not buy out Six Flags, but they would buy a pavilion, have a luncheon and stuff. And I seen her at this before, but I didn't know her as Christina. It was, hey, dad, that girl goes to my school. And you obviously work with her father <laughs> type thing. And, and that was the extent of that. I didn't, you know, it wasn't like we were cool or we were even cordial at that point no we weren't I didn't it was really just hey i've seen her before right. she goes to my school and that was that anyway um yeah so we didn't really build a friendship like he said until high school when him and my i mean him and andrew uh deemed themselves my secret service and then i saw them all the time I'll go first. Okay. I think I knew you were the one. I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where I, I'm a firm believer of if things are meant to be, 
it will be and how things that were uh, supposed to be in your life, the whole cliche, if you let it go to come back, it was kind of that. So me and Christina, we were real close friends in high school. We we attempted at dating for, there was a small window of that. It didn't really <laughs> happen. I had had a long relationship and then like she was the con like she was continuously a constant in my life. Like whether even even when in those those uh, points where we weren't talking every day or we weren't communicating as often as we used to because of mm -hmm. our relationship. Mm -hmm. Once once those things ended, it was just like everything was just like it just like we had never Stop. skipped a beat yeah. in a sense. So yeah. so so at that point I was like okay. To be the weirdo guy thinking of fate and all that stuff like I believe in that stuff I was like okay this might be like this might be the girl that I need to be pursuing like she's not wavering like she puts up with my craziness and my weird ways and stuff like that Definitely. so <laughs> at, at that point um, I was like okay pretty much the same for me um you were that one friend that I, I didn't want to lose like Constantly in my life, and I knew you were a great friend um, to me, and I knew you were important to me in my life. Um, but I have to say, I guess, like, okay, after being in a long, long relationship and breakups and everything, and I was just single for a period of time, and I was just like, oh, God, like, please send me my husband. Like, <laughs> please send me a sign. Let me know who he is. And I'm just like, clearly he he has to already be in my life because I'm not the one, or at that point, I wasn't the one like going out, like looking for guys, looking for relationships. So I said, he has to already be in my life and I need to figure out who that is. So just kind of sitting and reflecting on the males that I had in my life and that were friends and I knew he had to be somebody I considered a friend because the way I work, like I just know the person I'm supposed to be with is supposed to be my friend. Like we have to be able to talk and communicate on a friendship level first before anything else. So, and just like, he, you were always that person I called, like whether I was breaking up with somebody or going through a rough patch with somebody or not in a relationship at all. Like I think that was the weird thing. like. We were both going through a breakup at the same time yeah. towards the end. So yeah. it wasn't it wasn't intentionally that we were, you know, we got closer. It's just like we were venting to each other yeah. about what we were going yeah. through. And then that, we kind of, I wouldn't say rekindled our friendship, but we once became a lot more closer than we were yeah. while we were in those relationships. Yeah. And from there, it kind of just, it blossomed to what it is now. <laughs> we were talking like every day. We were pretty much acting like we were in a relationship without even being in a relationship at first because like I got off work, I called him like on the weekends, let's hang out. Yeah. Um <laughs> like there's a festival coming to town, let's go. Like we were pretty much in a relationship before we said we were in a relationship. Yeah. So that's pretty uh, now that you say that out loud, yeah, it's yeah, kinda weird. We <laughs> I'll, I'll go first again. I hope we don't have the same moment. I will, we didn't I, talk about this before. Then. Um, I'll just, I'll just, cause I'm a nostalgic person. I'll say the a memorable moment for me would be the first concert we went together, went together mm -hmm. with, um, and that was the Mayor Hawthorne co concert. I don't know how long ago that was. And then I don't know. At, at one point, I think the, the reason this is memorable, and I think this is kind of one of those light bulbs that went off. Um, I think either I or Christina had to go use the restroom. And from that point, like we were weaving through the stuff and I, re I recall her um, reaching out for my hand and to hold her hand and to guide her through the the mess. If y'all have been to concerts, so y'all know. <laughs> if y'all have been to concerts or anything, like you know it can get hectic. So I remember her reaching out for my hand and so I grabbed her hand and just guided her through, uh, through the crowd or whatnot. And from that, I don't want to say from that point, but that was one of those like, okay, in my head, me being a guy, it's like, okay, was that literally because she didn't want to get lost? Like, what was that? And that was just like, I would consider that like one of the seeds in my head of <laughs> um, what it is now. 
Okay, we don't have the same one. But they're so sweet. They're so sweet. Um, okay, so my memorable moment, we weren't actually together at this point. <laughs> but I think it was like a turning point for us in our relationship and how I viewed us and knew where we could be headed. Um, anyway, it was one of our FaceTime conversations and we were talking about relationships and where we wanted to be and everything. And I remember Michael saying something to me about us being in a relationship and I was just like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know for whatever reason, but I was like, I don't wanna risk our friendship, I don't know. And Michael was just like, when you're ready to be great, let me know. <laughs> and I was just like, what, what do you mean? And he was just like, when you're ready to be great, let me know. And so that's actually kind of like how we started our relationship. Cause probably like all of a week or so after that conversation, uh, we were talking again on FaceTime and I just said, um, I think, I think I'm ready to be great. <laughs> and he was like, what? And I was like, I'm ready to be great. And we just both understood that that meant we were going to start a relationship together. So um, was that the first time I said? Let's no, be you probably said that plenty of times, but it was the last the time one that you resonated. Said it, that okay. resonated with me. Yeah, you he said that. I was, quite a few times. I, was, I was shooting my shot a few times just to see what was going to happen, but I didn't want to lose my friendship. Yeah. Right. From time to time, Michael and I um, switch cars. Whenever like he's washing my car or um, changing, changing oil. my oil. So yeah. I think it was like a changing the oil type thing. Mm -hmm. So I was dropping my car off and picking his car up so um, we could, so he could do what he needed to do. Anyway, um, I was looking for gum in the middle console cause that's where he keeps gum. But I obviously lifted all the way up and I found a lock. The lock had a key in it and everything. And I was just like, Michael, what does this lock go to? And of course he fussed at me for being nosy and anything like that, but I wasn't being nosy. I was honestly looking for gum, okay? But anyway, he was just like, I can't tell you <laughs> what the lock goes to, you being nosy. And I'm just like, what does a lock have to do anything with me? And I was like, oh, did you buy a house or a storage unit? <laughs> Right. Like for us to put our stuff in because we're about to move. But he said no. He was like, I can't tell you what the lock goes to. Just leave it alone. And I'm like, okay. I really had no clue. I'm like, lock, whatever. Okay, fast forward a week. And we had been out like one Saturday. Um, I was shopping for a bridesmaid dress or hostess dress. I'm sorry. And he, we have a list of things that we want to do and places we want to go in Atlanta. And so the Barcelona wine bar is one of those places on the list. And he mentioned the bar, hit the wine bar. He said, let's go to that wine bar. We should check it out like next week. And I'm like, okay, like whatever, that's fine. Um, not even, well, I was like, why is he trying to plan like a date, like a whole week in advance? Cause anybody that knows Michael, he is not a far in advance planner. He is like a day before or we'll figure it out kind of person. I so I just go with the flow. So I was just like, okay, sure. Why not? And then like later on that week, we work out together too. So, um, he mentioned the wine bar again and I was like, oh, I didn't know you were serious about that. Remember? because he's not somebody that plans ahead. So I thought he was just mentioning it like in passing, we should check it out. And I'm like, it's on the list, of course we'll check it out. So he mentioned it again and I was like, oh, I didn't know you were serious. And he's like, yes, I'm serious. Like make sure you don't plan anything Saturday because I want to take you there. And then he was like, and I'll show you what the lock goes to. Still, I'm like, lock me, Barcelona bar. I don't even understand the connection right now, but okay, cool. Not even worried about it. Um, so then here comes the Saturday and okay. So that was April fools. Of course we got engaged on April fools. Well, one, one key part is this. I actually told you what the lock went to, but you thought I was making it oh, up. I did think you were making it up. Okay. He told me it was for like the love locks and I didn't think one existed in Atlanta. So I was just like, you're lying. It doesn't exist. Because if it was to? real, I would have saw it. Yeah, I, I, did. I said, if it was real, like everybody would be talking about it. Everybody would know about it. So I would know that it exists. 
but really I was wrong. Anyway, so that Saturday is April Fool. Me trying to <laughs> jump the gun and play April Fool's prank. <laughs> that turned out to be pretty lame, but I had to shoot my shot on the prank because knowing him, I knew he was going to try something. So he tells me he's on his way to pick me up and I'm just like, I don't want to go anymore. Go back home. <laughs> like, I'm upset. I don't want to be around anybody. He's calling me. He's texting me. I don't pick up the phone because I, if I answer the phone, I'm going to give it away. But I'm just like, I'm crying. I can't talk right now. Leave me alone. And he's like, no, Christina, you're going. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Go back home. All the time, I'm getting dressed. Like, I, I'm ready to go. And um, I see him outside waiting. He's just sitting in the car, like getting his life together. And I'm just like, okay, when he comes to the door, I'll do April Fool's. So he comes to the door, April Fool's. And he's just like, not funny. <laughs> not at all. Um, so anyway, he's like, let's go. We're going here. And still on the way there, I'm like, where are you taking me? This thing doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in Atlanta because if it does, blah, blah, blah. So we actually drive under the bridge and I was like oh I do see locks on there it does exist so I'm like okay whatever um we park across from where um the love locks are um he gets in the back seat to what I think getting a sharpie to write on the lock he gets the lock he's just like all right let's go and I'm like okay da 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 like not even knowing he's like you want to write on the lock and I'm like okay sure what do I write and he's like just write our names and stuff so I'm writing our names and he's like be sure to put the date and I'm like okay I'll put the date and I'm writing the date and everything and I'm putting the lock on the bridge and then he goes you want to take a picture of it and I'm like okay I, I guess so so I take his phone and I'm, I'm taking pictures of the lock just on the gate and then while I'm taking these pictures I'm like, why am I even doing this but whatever and then from the corner of my eye, I can see him getting down on one knee, but then I'm like, maybe he's tying his shoe. So, and then when he, he says my name, he asks me to marry him. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. I probably said it like five or six it, times. Yeah, it was like a mantra. It was just like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He's like sitting here like this and like. <laughs> while random people on the street are clapping and cheering and I'm like okay no this is real life like it's happening right now and of course by this time I'm I'm crying yeah. thank God for sunglasses yeah, because sure. <laughs> he doesn't get to see all my tears and how red my eyes are but okay of course I say yes and and then I think the first thing I said was I knew I should have got my nails done <laughs> And what's funny about that is I tried <laughs> to uh, encourage her to get her nails done. She was just, yeah. she was just um, her nails had grown back or, you know, she needed them to be done. I was like, you should drive by there just in case. And she was like, eh, I don't know. I was like, okay. And Maya was like, whether these nails done or not, this is going to happen. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't feel like it that day. I knew I just wanted to go home. Like, I didn't want to <laughs> wait at the nail shop. And I really should have got them done. But, I mean... It wasn't that bad. It, to anybody else, but to me, they were pretty bad, but whatever. They didn't stop me from taking pictures the day of. Um, <laughs> but then we get in the car, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't believe this just happened. And then I think the first question is, I think I want to call my mom. <laughs> like, and he was like, you can call her. <laughs> and I'm just like, does she know? And I'm like, because we were just at the house talking about this, and she didn't say anything. He's like, no, your mom doesn't know. Okay, to find out, like, my dad and my brother knew, of course, because he talked to my dad beforehand. And um, I think, of course, I remember calling my mom, and she it starts crying, and she's like, are you serious? And she's going, are you serious? Because it's April Fool. So clearly, anybody we told that day was just like, are you guys serious? Like, is this an April Fool's prank? I'm like, no, this is real life. Like, I call my two best friends and they're just like, stop playing. I'm like, I'm not playing. This is real life. Like, it just happened like minutes ago. I promise you, I'm not, I would not joke about something like this. And they're like, let me talk to Michael. Let me ask him. Even Michael's mom thought we were pulling yeah, a prank. I, I, call, I call my mom 
uh, had a con whole conversation with her. She congratulated us and everything. I get off the phone with her. Five minutes later, she calls me back. She's like, hey, I just talked to your brother. He, he reminded me that it's April Fool's. Like, are you serious? Like, are you? I was like, no, I'm serious, man. I wouldn't lie to you back then. She's like, okay, I just wanted to make sure. Everybody thought we were playing. Yeah, I mean, the whole April Fool's stuff, it was intentional. And my whole purpose was to, I'm not big on, like, holidays, certain holidays and stuff like that. So I, I, I kind of, I just wanted to remix April 1st. I wanted to make it my holiday. So I made it something like something for me instead of the right. whole April Fool stuff. So, yeah, April and I kinda, will never be the same. <laughs> right, so I kind of anticipated the um, the kind of confusion or people's hesitance on it. I was like, you know, it'd be kind of fun, but still serious in the same Yeah, no, same absolutely. Because even the day after, after, once we started telling more people, they were like, that was April Fool's. Are you sure he, he wasn't pulling a prank on you? And I'm like, no, this is real life. I still have this on my finger, and we celebrated and everything yesterday. So this is real life right now. <laughs> yeah. No, that was crazy. Just, just like you. Too. I feel like it was. I feel like I had a few bumps, not bumps, but it was a few things I had to um, adjust along the way. But I think I execute. I think I came came off pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Oh, side note, by the way, like, we really didn't even plan this. Like, we just came together and we had on the same colors. I think this is just like the prequel to we started looking alike and <laughs> all this other stuff. And it's kind of, it's, it's really creepy and then people think he it's was, cute because He was it's looking like, in my closet. Right. I had this dress pulled out. Right. We don't live together if anybody's wondering that, so I don't know how that could have happened. <laughs> I don't know, you were sneaking in my window, I don't know. But, I know I got this before you, so clearly you had to copy me. Okay, that's that's where we're going with. Yep. Anyway. Okay, so this wraps up our video on how our relationship evolved and how Michael proposed. Um, we're going to be doing a few other videos with <laughs> wedding planning and possibly house buying. House buying is first on our list, but we're going to be house buying and wedding planning all at the same time. But um, I, I definitely plan on doing a video about how I ask my bridesmaids to be in my wedding, as well as um, how I make... Um, how I use a creative way to ask them basically to be in my wedding um, and we'll do other little things here and there about our We'll drag y'all along this, this little journey me. that we got going on here. Yeah. I just want to share my story and of course with me being in this production world of course I don't just want to create a blog and, and make you read it. I want to show you and you can see us in our interactions together and some of the crazy things that happen to us on a daily basis and the headache that um, I, I am presented with. With life? Are you referring oh, to me? Oh, with life. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Anyway, um, yeah, so stay tuned to videos and upcoming videos and things of that nature. Follow us social media and YouTube. Bye. And then I saw them all the time and our battery's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> you want to change battery?